Three. Two. One. One. Don't forget that some of these will start to disappear as people get them right. Well done, Fatima. Sometimes as a starter activity, I'll put kind of just a standard flip tile with nine questions on. And obviously, if I do an activity like that, I can see which ones they're going for first, which ones they can do and which ones they've naturally left till the end. And you immediately get to that kind of assessment learn for learning point where you know where to start because you know what the students already know. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, you get some, bud. Are we going to let Hamza win again? No. Yes. Good luck. Off you go. With word wall, they tend to be much more um, enthusiastic. They get really excited. I think it's the instant response as well, the fact that they get immediate feedback and that it's a different stimulus. What would be the coordinates of A after a reflection in the y-axis? Do you know the answer? No. <laughs> kind of under stress. <laughs> Once you reach the end of the time limit, there's like a leaderboard. That's a good way of keeping track. For example, if you get 20th for your first go and then the next go you t get like 10th for in the top top few, that means you've progressed and you've got gotten better or the other people have got worse. But I'm pretty sure it's the progression. The fact that you can use the same resource and just tweak it so that you can do something different at the beginning, you can do a plenary at the end, you can print off a crossword for homework, but you're not having to retype it, you're not going to have to start from scratch, you don't have to mess around with animations or colours, it's literally type it in, button, go. This time around I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult. So there's 20 questions, they're all based around the stuff that you're doing next week in your assessment, okay? And I'm going to give you four minutes for it and we'll check who's the leaderboard at the end. <laughs> Get set! Go. When you get like in the top ten, you're just like that fist pump feeling, you're like, yes. And when you're in the top three, you feel thrilled and you'll just be over the moon. Can I just say, I never go in the top three. But... I do. <laughs> and done. No, no.